Hello and welcome to another part of UV Packer 2 tutorials about managing complex UV map sheets and texture baking. In this tutorial, and as you can see it already in the background, we will illustrate you the most optimal way of how to pack and bake maps from the different UV channels and material IDs. We all already know the POSA and DAS models and they are great as long as you don't need to change the texture maps in 3D Max. While the textures are high quality, they are sliced in few dozen of UV parts and each UV part occupies one material ID. If you would like now to add some extra procedural noise uh, to this uh, body, for example to a specularity channel, you will need to do it for all of these 10 or 20 materials. There is a much more easier way to create texture maps for poser models in 3ds Max in order to get unified shaders. I will select the object and add UV Packer modifier on the top of the stack and change the target channel to 2. The source channel should remain 1. The consequence will be that all UV charts from the original channel 1 will be packed and stored into the UV channel 2. This also means we will not destroy our original UV maps but load them into the new reserved UV area. I will click the pack UVs and here is the final result. All UV parts are now optimal stored into the UV channel 2 without losing the base UV map. We will now bake all those different material IDs into the newly generated one sheet map. Press 0 on your keyboard, this is the shortcut for texture baking, and pick mapping coordinates from the channel 2. This channel 2 is our UV packer generated sheet where all body parts are on. Add diffuse map as baking element, define the output map size, uh, the bigger the better, sometimes 8000 pixels and more are needed for the best quality, and press render. Now what happens now? Max is baking now all body parts and dozens of texture maps into one unified map. Now ignore the shaded preview in the Max during this rendering process. The texture which is stored on your hard drive is to set up the unshaded diffuse map. Finally, the map has been saved and I will load it into the new material editor panel. The new map is a part of a shell material and I will extract it for the sake of simplicity. We don't need all those materials anymore. Now if I assign this texture to our main object, I will get the desired result. Now ignore the black edges on the model in the viewport, uh, they are caused by, the, by my low budget uh, graphic card. When you render the model, it will look simply perfect. You have now one texture map for the whole body, which allows you much better workflow and control. Now for the most professionals, it is simply not enough. We have meanwhile the year 2014 and the best texture paintings and modifications are done in Mari, Mudbox or ZBrush using so-called UV tiles technique. UV Packer 2 comes with a full support for UV tiles. You can define the number of the columns and cells where you want to store your UV parts. In this case I will set the 10 columns and let our tool to do the rest. And here is the final result after a few seconds. The UV parts has been logically and automatically distributed into 10 cells. The smaller parts have been grouped, but the largest occupy most of the UV cells available space. You can now export it into your favorite texture painting application as OBJ. Once you get there, you will understand the full power of UV tiled technique. You do not paint or modify a texture that is 2048 pixel size, but you paint on 10 textures, each 2048 pixel large. This gives you effectively 20,000 pixel large texture quality. And this is a quite new dimension of quality and quantity compared to what you have done in the past. You can surely do all this job manually instead of one click in UV Packer plugin. But the question is, how many time you will waste on this stupid UV reorganizing work. After your 10th model, it will definitely start to hurt you very much. 
Thanks for watching and if you would like to learn more about UV Packer, please visit uvpacker.com and download the demo version. Also be sure to check the www.3dplugin.com for more of our productivity tools.